Gossip. All the gossip. 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 The Rumor Report. Gossip. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's The Rumor Report. The, the Breakfast, Breakfast Club. Club. But Rihanna has a new album coming out, and she's been working on it, which I'm excited about, because it is going to be a <laughs> dance hall album. <laughs> What's so funny? Somebody hit me and was like, you know, so please tell Charlemagne that if Scott Storch had a 90-foot yacht and then bought a 130-foot yacht. It's 40 feet. It's 40 feet, the difference. Yeah. Okay, what's her point? Or his point? It's her point. You said 20 feet. Why y'all know I'm stupid? All why right. y'all, why? Why are you talking to me? You know I'm a brilliant idiot. You know uh, I'm stupid. All right. All right. Hey, I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Um, we'll talk about Rihanna. Her new album is going to be coming out. It's going to be a dance hall album. So she's going to return to her roots. She's Bayesian, as we all know. So they're doing a full project kind of like that. Only thing is one insider was saying that things haven't been going the way they should have because they're mixing it up and putting in some pop. So they keep on changing the direction. So if it's going to be a dance hall album, let it be a dance hall album. Dance hall is like one of my favorite genres of music, so I'm excited to hear that. How West Indian do you think Drake's accent gets when he talks to Rihanna on the phone? Very. Very, right? Even mm-hmm. more than usual. Hey, man, 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 Rihanna, man. There's a lot of people Rihanna. from the Caribbean in Toronto, though. So huh? there's a lot of people from the Caribbean in Toronto. Absolutely. So oh, they okay. definitely grew up listening to dance hall, and, you know, he's grew up around it's that huge culture. huge out there. Yep. Yeah. Also, but they said, according to Rolling Stone, Rihanna's camp has eight songs and they're looking for one more to complete the album. And allegedly she's going to be working on a pop album as well. So she has two albums that she's been working well, on. Well, the thing with Rihanna, all her albums are pop albums because she's a huge crossover star. So, I mean, it's going to be pop regardless of what genre of music it is. All right. Wendy Williams, she is uh, talking about basically her struggles that she's had with her cocaine addiction. She's launched a campaign on addiction and substance abuse. She went and spoke to ET News and she expressed a concern for people who also are battling cocaine addiction and other addictions and how she wants to help them. So she's partnering with the Hunter Foundation to launch the Be Here national campaign. Now, here's what Wendy had to say. I am not embarrassed, you know, about anything. I was a functioning addict. I report to work on time and I'd walk in and all of my coworkers, including my bosses, would know. But instead of firing me, you see, I would grab my headphones and arrogantly walk in the studio and dare them to fire me because I was making ratings. A functioning addict has several alarm clocks. You're organized. She said co-worker, so you know too, Sherman. Man, that was way before my time. Oh. <laughs> She's the one that gave you that um, weed laced with the cocaine? No. Uh-oh. I smoked weed laced with cocaine when I was a teenager. All right. Now, Roseanne. This was a really crazy looking interview. Now, the uh, video has been released and the interviewer is asking her multiple questions about a video and about the whole Valerie Jarrett situation. And here's what she had to say as her explanation. She's uh, tired, I guess, of being politically correct about it. I'm trying to talk about Iran. I'm trying to talk about Valerie Jarrett wrote the Iran deal. I know, but you've told me this. That's what my tweet was about. I know. You've explained this literally 300 times. I thought the bitch was white. God damn it. I thought the bitch was white. Damn. Damn. It sounds like Roseanne needs to join Wendy's Foundation. <laughs> All right, Wendy's Foundation for Cocaine Addiction. Jeez. God damn it. Jesus Christ, You have to Roseanne. actually see her face, the hell is but Roseanne like she doing, was man? crazy. Oh, wow. My God. I guess she's tired of trying to explain the Whoa. tweet. That's when that racism starts to eat you alive, man. You can't even look at yourself in the mirror no more. Goodness gracious. You think she'll be watching the spinoff show that she's not involved with and not on? Oh, that's going to drive her crazy. She's <laughs> definitely going to start sniffing cold. She's going to curse at the TV that's all the time. Her. Mad empty bottles of Jack Daniels everywhere. She's going to be watching the Connors. Man, and be she's like, going to be eating mayonnaise straight out of the jaw with a spoon. Oh, she's going to get so fat because of stress eating mayonnaise. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. 